Conius here. I thought it would be fun to repeat my very first flight on the channel, which was from Concord, California to Moffett Field in Mountain View. I'm flying a Cessna, Citation Longitude. Let me reset the view. One thing I'm going to try to do in the channel going forward is explaining a little bit more about what I'm doing. I realized watching some of my videos that um, somebody watching may have all kinds of questions, so I'll try to think of what those questions are and come up with some answers. Um, but anyway, I'm here in Concord, California at the Buchanan Field Airport. I live a few miles away in Pittsburgh. I've flown over Pittsburgh a few times in some of my videos. Um, this is a twin-engine jet. Let's go inside. Let me back out a little bit. Uh, full Garmin glass cockpit. Um, the way my flights usually work is I will take off from inside the cockpit and then get up to a flight altitude I'm comfortable with and turn on autopilot. And most of the flight is handled by just managing autopilot and making minor corrections. I'll go outside and look around, maybe play some music um, instead of just my blabbing along and otherwise just try to enjoy the simulated scenery and have a good time and learn to fly. I've never taken any ground school. I'm just trying to learn by the seat of my pants. I started with a Cessna 152 and have worked my way up to this jet. So uh, let me go ahead and take off the parking brake and engage the rudder pedals and throttle up and let's take off. I'm going to go up to about 70% on the throttle or so. Try to stay centered on the runway if possible. That can be a little hard sometimes. That warning light was because of the throttle being a little on the high side. I'll pull back on that a little bit. And gently lift up and already sort of not tracking with the runway. Also a little rusty, so it'll take me a while to get used to this. Uh, once we have vertical climb, I'll put the landing gear up, because I know I'm not going to need them, or I'm going to be able to use them anyway. Concord Tower, KA551, continue for north departure. Alright, and it, the game turns the flaps, puts the flaps down automatically, I'll bring those up. I don't usually need those, but this is a short runway, so that helps to get up off the ground quickly, which we really did. Uh, I need to make a turn. If I look at the compass dial, I can see that the purple line or magenta line is showing me my heading, so I need to basically turn left and begin heading in that direction. Try not to nose up more than 15%. Uh, let's go ahead and turn, and so I'm using the rudder pedals to turn, but also coordinating with the aileron so that I get a nice sweeping bank turn. I go outside for a moment. You can see what it looks like. Uh, this is probably Richmond, California, that area. A lot of oil refineries and whatnot. Saw a jet on the upper right of the screen that just went by. So in this view, the compass dial is now up on the upper left, and I can see that I'm about halfway towards my proper heading continuing to climb. I don't want to get too high. I'm going to get nosing down a little bit and maybe slightly easing out of this turn. I don't want to get too high up. I'm also going pretty fast, so I'm going to pull back on the throttle to 50%. The plane can safely go faster into the red, red and white stripes, but I'd rather keep it a little bit more gentle, not go too far above 10k. Okay, we're continuing to turn. I'm easing out of the turn a little bit. Makes for a nice sweeping view. Uh, we might actually want to go below the clouds so we can see something other than cloud tops. I think basically these are going to burn off. It matches the weather I'm seeing outside uh, as I fly from my living room. Windows down just a little bit more. And we're almost on heading. The magenta line is broken, and so what I need to do is I need to 
bring it together into a single straight line, and I'll know I'm perfectly on course. Uh, because I've nosed down, we've sped up. I'm going to drop the throttle just a little bit more. One of the things I have to remind myself that I learned is that you you want to think of using the throttle for your altitude, not your elevators. And I kind of forget that, but that, that really makes sense. So, still above 10k, that's fine. Um, okay, so I'm essentially, I've gone a little bit too far. I guess I need to go back to get that line to close. So just a little bit of aileron rudder to get back on course. Often what I will do at this point is just uh, let the, the autopilot take over and then it'll make those kind of minor adjustments. Uh, we have 29 nautical miles. That's not a lot of time to fly. This thing goes pretty fast, but we can stand autopilot a bit. I'm going to set... First of all, I'm going to turn it on and it'll hold us at pitch. And we'll set an altitude of 4,200 feet. And I'll drop the throttle to give it a chance to be able to descend. And I'll tell it to navigate on, uh, or follow the, the navigation, follow the flight plan. So it will begin doing the minor adjustments to our course. See over on the right that we're dropping pretty quickly. That would be a little uncomfortable for passengers. I think if I was flying passengers, you would want to keep that down to minus 600, minus 700. But it doesn't matter in a game, of course. And as a single pilot in a plane, it's not going to matter. I do like to spend some of the time inside the cabin to just get that feeling of being a pilot and flying. Obviously it's a video game, so it's not the same thing, but for example, when I'm landing, I like to be in the cockpit because I want to I want to be able to get that sense of how close the wheels are to the ground without being able to see it. So um, that's what I'm working on there. I turned the brightness of my screen up. I didn't bother with the other two. Uh, for some reason, that doesn't persist. I have to set it every time. Um, I might be able to find a way to fix that. There's not much to look at inside the cabin, and you can't go into the back. There's there's no modeling inside, um, so there's nothing to look at in there. But plenty of stuff to look at in here. I'm not going to go through and try to explain anything. Maybe in another video I'll do that. There's plenty of videos that talk about that. Just search for a Cessna Citation Longitude. All right, so I need to get my bearing. We are 21 nautical miles away. I feel like we're not following the navigation on autopilot. Let me see if I can engage that. That doesn't seem to be working. Um, that's interesting. Maybe something broke. We are descending still. way too high to land. We need to drop quite a bit more. So at, at this point what I'm going to do is take us off autopilot, nose down a bit more, drop throttle a bit more, see if we can get below these clouds. So usually when you've got a flight plan set, the autopilot will follow that, but um, it's possible that a bug got introduced or something, or Maybe I did something wrong. Did things a little out of order from usual, so it's possible that I missed something. Okay, I'm going to begin turning in our direction before I get too close to these mountains. So a little bit on the rudder, a little bit on the aileron. Uh, make it a nice coordinated turn. I don't really know exactly how much to turn the control surfaces. I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go. Um, I'm thinking of maybe taking an online ground school course. It would be nice to fill in some of the backstory on this flying that I'm doing that I don't understand. Uh, especially um, navigation and the vertical dimension is a little bit tough for me. Okay, that tone means that we've gone below our intended altitude. That's fine. That's a nice reminder. I will 
level off. And I would like to stay around in the 3,000 feet level. Um, so I'm going to stop the climb. And in terms of where the airport is, I think it's ahead of us. Now, the game used to give you a landing pattern automatically, which for me is like training wheels because I don't know how to navigate myself into the runway. Uh, at some point it stopped doing it automatically, so what I need to do is... Well, Concord Tower, KA551, 3,100 feet, touch and go. Concord Airport huh. Information, Mike 1700 Zulu. Okay, that's Wind 226 at confusing. Visibility, 10. It's... Sky condition. It's Few not, at 1,900 uh, feet. I should be talking to the Moffett Field Tower. Point one zero. Altimeter, three zero decimal zero zero. Visual runway, one nine or left. And visual and runway, just telling one nine or right. And about course. Concord, and Landing I can't seem to departing stop runway it. Landing tree, two right, and runway tree, two left. VFR aircraft, say direction of flight. Cancel. See if All I can. aircraft, read back, hold short instructions. See if I can do this. Advise controller on initial contact, you have mic. Concord yeah. Tower, Turn autopilot on to keep us straight and level while I diagnose go. this. Although we are Concord starting to rock and get some throttle. Nearest airport list. Make left downwind runway so they must have made a right change to the game because usually I can just go request this right Concord away. Tower, KA find 55 an airport. Five one cancel landing intention. NorCal approach KA five five one is type Cessna C seven hundred eight miles northeast of Palo Alto two thousand three hundred feet. So what I need to do is enter that pattern, and to do that, I'm going to make a turn. So a little bit of rudder, a little bit of ailerons. Okay. Sweep into that pattern. Let's get rid of this panel on the screen. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened with the flight plan. It seems like it, it didn't know that I wanted to go to Moffett Field for some reason. Um. Auto pilot. It it uh, it turned off autopilot because I was steering it. I guess when you're on autopilot, you can steer it a little bit, but if you do it too much, it automatically turns it off. So it was reminding me that it just turned that off. Um. That windy turbulence you're seeing. It is a very windy day here in the Bay Area. Um, so I'm not surprised by that. Also doesn't worry me. I, I remember when I started this, uh, that amount of jostling and wind would drive me a little nuts, but I've gotten used to it. And airplanes are designed to bob around in the wind like that, so it's really not a problem. Uh, look to our left. Let's see that we are making several turns and then coming down into the runway that we can see on the left side there. Uh, this should be like the Sunnyvale area, maybe, next to Moffett Field, Sunnyvale Mountain View. Mountain View, the home of Google.com. All right, a little high, so let's pull back on the throttle. Uh, I'm going slow enough that I can put the flaps down, so I'm going to go ahead and put them down, mainly to lower my speed. That will allow me to slow down and remain uh, airborne, although I, they didn't look like they came down. Let me try this again. Landing gear. Landing gear. Okay. Landing gear. I guess landing they're down gear. two steps. Landing gear. It wants me to put landing the landing gear, gear down because we're headed towards a stall. I'll go ahead and give it some throttle and try to keep it below 170. The, air, the wheels cause drag. The flaps will obviously cause drag. I put the flaps down twice because I, it didn't look like they had come down and I wasn't noticing us slowing down. Normally I would wait till we had made the final turn before putting them down two steps, but that's okay. You just have to make up for it with the throttle. Alright, so let's go ahead and get out of this turn. And I'm also dropping on the throttle. Let's go inside. This part can sometimes seem a little slow and a, maybe a little boring. Oh, how did the... Oh, you know what? Interesting. All the electronics are off. I didn't turn them on when I started up the game, so it, they defaulted on and then turned off for some reason. That might explain some of the weird behavior. Okay, so now we're at a good speed. 
I'm going to keep it uh, 160, 170, somewhere like that. Uh, Clear to land runway tree two right I will K have five to one. climb up over these mountains here to maintain this pattern. So let's give it some throttle and nose up a little bit. Let's see what that looks like outside. We're probably going to get the 500 foot warning. Again, it's a gusty day, so we're kind of getting bopped around. It would be a little uncomfortable for a passenger. A much more skilled pilot would be able to do this in a comfortable way, but I just don't have that much experience. I have something over, somewhere over 100 hours of flying experience, which is nothing. Just enough to get the thing off the ground and put it back on the ground without killing it. All right, we didn't get the 500 foot warning, so that's fine. That's good. Go too fast. I'm going to pull back on the throttle. We should lose some speed as I go into this turn. Whoa! And I went into it a little bit too quickly, I guess. Or it was, you know, some mountain hill wind you know, air effects or something. It's interesting. Um, that kind of jostling, again, it used to kind of scare me. And even while driving my car, um, a lot of turbulence like that would un would be unsettling. And after so much simulated flying in the game, now in the car, when I have j you know, just about any amount of turbulence, it's, it's not a problem. So kind of kind of gotten used to it. All right, so I think we're kind of back on track. We're still going too fast. Let me throttle. We're gaining speed because we're continuously dropping. Um, I also want to make my way over towards the right side of the pattern just so I can kind of keep my eyeballs centered. Still need to slow down, pull back on the throttle. Put the flaps down all the way when I get ready to land, which is coming right up after this turn. I would like to get us down to about 160. I'm going to start moving into this turn with the rudders and the aileron. I don't know if it's aileron or ailerons, plural. Like I said, I really need to backfill my flying education, but I, I wanted to just, I wanted to prove I could hop in and learn how to fly, and I've done that, at least in a simulated way. Who knows if I could actually do it in real life. I feel like if there was an emergency, I would have some chance of being able to safely step in, depending on the airplane. Okay, we're dropping too fast. I need to give it a bunch of throttle. I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to my speed, and so we're dropping, like, dangerously. So let's, uh, quickly get some altitude, with a whole bunch of thrust, and get back on track. Really have to pay attention, obviously, I mean, that goes without saying. Um, I was busy thinking about whatever we were just talking about. See some of the photogrammetry outside. It does indeed seem easier to land this way, but I would prefer to learn it this way. Um, going too fast? Yeah, saying that, I should be paying attention. Alright, I've got the throttle down. Let's bring it down some more, but not too much, because we might stall. At this point, I think we're okay to glide in. Let's just give it a try flare up the nose a little bit to keep us up. I'm going to hop down and then pull up a little bit. Okay, it was a little rough and we bounced. That's okay. It's a game. I'm a little rusty. Uh, spoilers. One, two, one for KA five, five, one. I have these spoilers to help me slow down Put on the brakes. Don't need the spoilers, don't need the flaps. Especially want to put the flaps up when you're on the ground because a gust of wind can come along and pick you up and that can be very damaging. 
I think they're going to want us to go over here towards the right, so let me go ahead and begin steering with the rudder. Uh, it's nice in some airplanes the uh, the front wheel will steer as well, which makes it easier to navigate around. Um, I think on this plane it's just free spinning. Okay, what they want us to do is to get off the runway, put on the parking brake, and it'll give you this warning that the parking brake is on. I can acknowledge that. And then they want you to contact the tower and do something. Uh, ground surfaces. Okay, so we just need to park wherever we want to park. That's fine. Let's get rid of this panel and look around just a little bit. Um, my Xbox controller turned off. I could try turning it on. In the past, that would halt the game, so I don't think I'll do that. I'll just use my mouse and we'll just look around a little bit here in Mountain View at Moffett Field. Used to be a military base, now it's just a federal airfield. This is where Air Force One parks when it comes to the Bay Area. Alright, and let's go park somewhere. Take the parking brake off. And just need a little bit of throttle to get going. Use the rudders to move us around. Um, the uh, differential braking can be useful also for making sharp turns. Alright, I see somewhere I'd like to park. when you're able to contact ground services, they'll come out and be waiting for you. I mean, I do actually see people out there on the field, but this is an unmanned airport, I guess, so there's not really any workers here. Okay, parking brake back on. Go back inside. Next step would be to power down the engines. Control shift E on the keyboard. And those will take a moment to power down. If we look here, there's details about the engine, but looks like they're cooling down. This is telling us something. Yeah, it's just basically saying that it's the engines aren't running anymore, which is what we want. Go back to my saved view. Oh, it's not the saved view. That is the saved view. Switch those switches off that I turned on a little bit too late. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.